Big interview, Deshaun Foster, the new coach, the new head coach of UCLA football with me now on Big Ten Today. Coach, let me be uh, one, one of the latest of the individuals who I'm sure you've gotten a lot of congratulations and excitement there in L.A., but congratulations to you, sir. Uh, the excitement, the emotion that was there was evident yesterday. It's been a whirlwind year for you, though. Give us a, a bit of a sense for between, you know, your family life and your professional life, everything that's kind of gone on in recent months. Yeah, this uh, this last calendar year has really been really been special for me, you know. But first, let me just say uh, thank you. You know, you can congratulate me, and I want to say thank you. Um, thanks for having me on your show and everything. But uh, like I was saying, this year has been a very special, you know, um, getting married, um, having a child, getting into the Hall of Fame here at UCLA, then getting the Raider job, and then now coming back to UCLA being a head football coach. So, you know, it's been a a whirlwind time, but you know, I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving it, and I'm uh, I'm gonna take this favor that I'm getting with my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of us have seen those images of what it was like when Martin Jarman welcomed you into the team meeting room, made that announcement of you being the head coach. So between that, with the players who you've, you know, of course, gotten to know so well, and then the public reaction, the sentiment has been so positive to you becoming the head coach. What has that felt like to receive sort of this adulation coming off of a time that for a few days felt pretty uncertain for the program? It's pretty amazing, you know, just just like you said, just to where it kind of seemed the program was at. It was it's just great to see the support and from everybody, from the current players, former players, donors, regular alumni, just people in the community, other coaches that aren't even connected to me. So. I've been getting so many, so many people reaching out to me. I'm just, I'm just excited to be in this situation. And, and you know, like I've been saying, I'm ready to hit the ground running. Now we're just over a week removed from you, you know, being publicly announced that you'd accepted the job in the NFL, like you referenced with the Raiders. As you were going through that process of transit, transitioning from UCLA to becoming an NFL coach, was there any sense that, that this opportunity may end up presenting itself and, and you'd have the chance a little over a week later to be the Bruins head man? I mean, I knew there was there was a chance, but you know, you you still never know. You know, you gotta you gotta go through the process. You know, I'm just glad that I was able to kill the interview process, and they they really saw my passion and saw my vision. And you know, we were able to get to a, get to a point to where they they were comfortable handing the keys over to me. And the development of the running back room has been one of the biggest parts of your resume as a coach at UCLA. Just seeing guys, uh, you know, starter after starter at times, you know, guys who were backups going to the National Football League. That development, how do you extrapolate the approach you've used as a position coach and have your entire roster, have the program be one of development at UCLA? I'm just a big component of development. You know, you got to you got to get guys, you got to evaluate, you got to develop and then let them soar. So. I just think that I got to do this on a bigger scale. You know, I've been able to show that I can do this in my room, but now I got to do it on the team aspect. I got 120 guys that I'm trying to develop, man. I'm going to just take this time up and make sure that I have the correct coaches in my corner, guys that, you know, really want to teach, want to educate these guys about football and off the field stuff also. So, you know, I, I'm I'm pretty excited. I think that this is, this, you know, a lot of people are trying to, are thinking that this job is really going to be overwhelming, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready to embrace it. I, I'm looking forward to the challenge. And, you know, I've had a lot of challenges in my life and I've been successful. So I'm going to continue to just uh, believe in myself and, and go on for it. <clears throat> uh, we're unquestionably pretty early in the Deshaun Foster era of leading UCLA football. But do you have any any ideas, any any sense right now for how the program will look different? Will in any ways kind of present differently than what we've, got, what we've gotten accustomed to seeing here in recent years? energy you know mm -hmm. you're going to see some guys out here that are competing and been playing with a, with high level of energy you know we're gonna we're gonna get out there and have fun so i just want guys to, that, that want to be great that want to come in and work hard and you're gonna have fun doing it you know we're still it's still football it's still the same game that they've been playing their whole life you know just the stuff on the outside around the stadium changes you know, this full the field is still the same and uh, i'm going to just have my guys ready to go and i'm looking forward to joining the big ten and one of the things you mentioned during the introductory press conference was about recruiting nationally and UCLA is certainly a brand that's capable of that. Will that be anything that's maybe different in pockets of the country, maybe that you would be looking to go to to recruit than what maybe we've come accustomed to seeing with UCLA football? Yeah, most definitely. We just have to cast a bigger net. 
You know, I, I, we have to, this this brand, this is a real brand. Like UCLA has a brand that stands on itself. A lot of people know this school, so we need to give them access to it. We shouldn't pigeonhole ourselves in just West Coast recruiting. We could we could really be national. You know, we can go to Florida. I played with Freddie Mitchell, Freddie's from Lakeland. Uh, I played with guys from Texas, Robert Thomas. He lived in Texas, then he moved to San Diego, first rounder. So, you know, there's a lot of guys playing with some kids from uh, Virginia. But, you know, you just have to get out there and really just recruit. This, this, this is the name of the game. It's not about um, coaching or play calling. It's it's about these players. And you got to really get out there and make sure that you have the top caliber players to, to put your best foot forward. And now that you've got the big whistle, it will be your responsibility, of course, to fill out your coaching staff. You've got a number of assistants that you'll need to hire, offensive coordinator and some others. Spring ball is kind of around the corner here, Coach. So what, what kind of timeline do you plan to operate on in getting your staff together? That should happen probably within, like, the next week, uh, finishing out the staff. You know, I just finished uh, talking to everybody on the staff. I had to get with the players first, make sure everything's good there. Then I met with the staff. Like I said, I'm going to meet with donors today and then circle back to the staff again. So these next uh, next week, we should have some, uh, some uh, positions filled. <laughs> As I watched you yesterday, the, the word investment came to mind for me just with the, the energy that you exuded there at the table, the emotion that you spoke about in, in your playing days and now in the current time with UCLA football, it struck me with financial investment. It struck me with emotional investment for the fans around the program. How do you plan on trying to enhance both those things, the, the resources invested in the UCLA football and the investment of those who care about the program? Just giving them access to this program. I want people to see, you know, when you see stuff and it looks great, you want to be involved with it. You want to come out, they want to support it. So I need to give them access to UCLA football. The more that they can have access to it, the more that they can see our passion, how hard these players are practicing, how hard they're playing, trying to trying to win games. The sky's the limit. So I just want to let the fans know that you, you have full access to UCLA football. Come support us at practice. Come watch us in spring. Make sure you you sell out the spring game. Just come out here and you're going to actually get something that you want to see. I may take you up on that myself, Coach. I've been out to Westwood. I've called some games in the past at the Rose Bowl. It is as gorgeous as anyone could anticipate. I got one more for you here just out of curiosity because a lot of the discussion in, in recent weeks has been where we've seen head coaches, some of them prominent, taking other opportunities. Of course, it happened with your program that you're leading now. Some people think that the modern sort of aspects of college football, NIL and the transfer portal, are maybe pushing coaches away from the, their roles with the sport. And yet here you are, you're, you're running towards this opportunity that'll put more on your plate than you've ever dealt with before. Why was this, why are you the right guy for this? And what is it about the modern landscape of the sport that really doesn't seem to intimidate you? I just think that the athletes, the athletes are changing, you know, so these are different kids. These are different athletes. They, they want, they have different needs. They have different wants. So it's just all about the athletes at this time. And you gotta be able to relate to them and reach them. So I think that I, I do a good job in uh, relating to these kids, motivating them and getting them to play for me. So um, that's why I'm, I'm excited to get in this role on a bigger scale. You know, I'm just, I'm just excited to embrace it. I, I know that my calling is to teach. So I'm gonna get out here and develop these boys and, and get them going. Well, we are certainly excited to watch it all play out. UCLA will be in the Big Ten when you coach your first game. The history, the conference history, the program continuing to evolve. Again, congratulations, Coach. Really appreciate you taking the time with us today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you.